Have I gone mad? I'm afraid so. You're entirely bonkers. But let me tell you a secret. All the best people are. One of my favorite quotes of all time. If you haven't figured out the theme here today, it's Alice in Wonderland. I wanted to reimagine what Alice would look like today. I think she'd be more edgy and have these rad flower tattoos everywhere. I mean, she doesn't want to be accused of being a weed again. Begin by priming your pretty little face and follow up with a concealer of your choice. Don't forget to set your powder for a long wear look. Today I'm using a different color to contour. I'm using this corally orange blush I got from NYX and contouring my usual areas. This will give your face some extra color for this look. Feel free to use any color you may like for contouring, like a light pink or purple, as I think it will still look pretty rad. As always, bring that down onto your chest for cohesiveness and follow that up with some highlighter. We all know I love a strong brow, so go ahead and fill them in with a dark color. This will give a great contrast to your blonde wig later. Don't forget to prime your eyes, then take another brush and angle it across your eyes to get a sharper edge. Pack orange shadow into your crease. I'm using Paradox from the Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette, which I'm in love with since I adore anything mildly whimsical. Anyways, back on track, darken the crease with a darker orange or light brown and pull that down below your lower lash line. Take a skin tone or white for a more high contrast and cover your lid, inner corner, and some of your brow bone. Add a white pencil to your inner corner to intensify that bright highlight and follow up with liner and mascara. Nothing too complicated on the lips this time, just go ahead and use a soft pink or red lip balm. Okay, now that we got the basic canvas down, let's work on these flowers. They look more complicated than they are, so let's see if I can talk you through this. If my rambling becomes confusing to you, just go ahead and mute me and just continue to watch. Take pink body paint and start making the basic shape of a flower. If you don't want to wing it, look up an image of a flower for guidance. You want to lay down the basic shape, then take a darker pink or red and add color to the inner portion of the flower. This will give the illusion of shadows. You can add some of the red to the tips of the petals for extra color, or wherever it looks pleasing to you. The flower really comes together when you start highlighting. Take white body paint and highlight the petal ends and where they would fold over. This is going to help you separate the petals from one another and depending on the angle of your flower, add black and yellow dots into the center. You are the flower god. Now go ahead and add your leaf and stem to this flower and treat them similar like you did with a flower petal. Start with a basic green and darken and highlight where needed. Continue to build flowers over the rest of your face. Use any color and flower you desire. There's no wrong or right way.
Sorry about the shifting image quality. I was filming this at night and my secondary light, the sun, went down for the evening. So, sorry. Now that you got the general idea of how to build these flowers, keep doing that and move down onto your chest. Continue building them wherever you want. I would suggest sticking with three to four colors as it's your best bet at making the makeup look very cohesive. But feel free to experiment. I'm using pink, purple, and orange to tie back into my orange contour and eyeshadow. Plus, they give a nice contrast with green. To add some texture to the overall look, add small white flowers as a filler. There's really no trick to these. I'm literally just dotting them around in a very messy fashion. So go ahead and add them wherever you want, and if you want a little more detail in them, go ahead and make a star shape here and there, and it will give a hint of a flower structure. If any area feels a little off balance to you, go ahead and add some leaves and vines to balance them out. If you are feeling super fancy, go ahead and add some glitter to your flowers if you're interested. You can't really see the glitter since I was filming so late, but trust me, it's there. And it was everywhere for like days. Throw on your blonde wig and you're ready to adventure through the looking glass. Thanks for watching and may your life be filled with wonder and nonsense.